Dozens of people were wounded in Beirut's suburbs and other parts of Lebanon after their handheld pagers exploded Tuesday, Lebanese state media and security officials said. It wasn't immediately clear if people were killed. A senior military intelligence official and an official with a Lebanese group with knowledge of the situation, both of whom spoke on condition of anonymity because of the sensitivity of the situation, said that pagers carried by Hezbollah members were detonated. The second official said it was believed to be an Israeli attack. Photos and videos from Beirut's southern suburbs circulating on social media and in local media showed people lying on the pavement with wounds on their hands or near their pants pockets. Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah previously warned the group's members not to carry cell phones, saying that they could be used by Israel to track their movements and to carry out targeted strikes. Lebanon's health ministry called on all hospitals to be on alert to take in emergency patients and for people who own pagers to get away from them. It also asked health workers to avoid using wireless devices. The state-run national news agency said hospitals in southern Lebanon, the eastern Baqa Valley and Beirut's southern suburbs, all areas where Hezbollah has a strong presence, had called on people to donate blood of all types. The news agency reported that in Beirut's southern suburbs and other areas, the handheld pager system was detonated using advanced technology, and dozens of injuries were reported. A Hezbollah official said that at least 150 people, including members of the group, were wounded in different parts of Lebanon when the pagers they were carrying exploded. Hello? Yes, yeah, sir. Where is the chef? Where is the chef? Next chef, more page. Chef Mao Pager is leader. Chef Mao Pager. Chef Mao Pager is leader. What are you Wildfires in the Russia-controlled Luhansk region of Ukraine killed four people, having spread to residential houses of the villages in three districts. Rescuers from five of Russia's southern regions came to reinforce local firefighters' teams. Several hundred buildings were destroyed and some industrial facilities were also on fire. Residents were evacuated from the area. Russian state TV RURTR aired dramatic footage on Monday showing houses and cars burned and entire village streets on fire. На данный момент сотрудники МЧС России по Луганской Народной Республике ликвидируют последствия ландшафтного пожара, который привел, как вы видите, к загоранию жилых домов. Поехали. 
Поехали, поехали. Отвезем на хорошую машину. Увидит, сначала заговорил. Попытался что-то включить скважину, насос.